Hello, everybody. Just one moment here. Okay. Let's go. So yeah, um, hopefully today we'll be finishing Castlevania 2 and get started on uh, Shovel Knight. Almost forgot what the game was called there. I also forgot where I'm going and what I'm trying to accomplish. So that's pretty great. I do have a really good whip right now. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna run away, reset, there we go, all right. It's daytime, I don't have to worry too much. I think one of these graves I want to desecrate. That's a sentence. Okay, not that one. All right. I'm afraid of these birds. So far, things aren't going so well, but I mean, that's usual. Should not have jumped directly into that bird. Ah. Hi, rear view. Don't forget this. Oh, yeah. The screen. Sorry about that. Oh, man. It's been a long day. Um, you didn't miss much. I was just at a dead end. I came back this way. Uh, throwing holy water at every uh, grave, accomplishing nothing. And okay, wow. That. Hmm. And. Yeah, well, it's morning now, so maybe I can actually, like, do something in these places. Let's live here together. No. I'd rather not. What? Um. How do I... There we go. Only 70. Just hoping I can get some tips here. Cause I'm kinda lost. Okay. Then it's gonna be, really? Nothing. The most moist game in the Castlevania franchise. One would think that would be Symphony of the Night. But with all the fangirls for Alucard. Bad joke is bad. But I also have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> Just walking around trying to see what I can find. I don't think I've been here. This doesn't seem familiar. It's only been a week since I played this. I should have a better memory. Oh no. All right, well, here we go with this. <clears throat> oh, it's nighttime. They take more hits. Just gotta remember, I have holy water. And they have really good aim. I don't like this bridge. Yeah, okay, just run. I wasn't ready. It's fine. 
it's that only did one damage. I'm actually surprised. All right, let's go. Give him the old combo. All right. Onward we go. Don't like the bridge, G-Force in my face. Oh, um, Kid Icarus reference. I believe. Okay. This is an amazing location to be in. Um, Oh, there's invisible stairs. This game. Makes no sense. So I thought I have like, or I thought I had something that shows me like hidden things. Guess not. Okay, um, looking up a map. Because this is a little confusing. Hmm. Brahm Mansion, that, I, that's what I did. No, I didn't do that? Morning Star, yeah, I, I have the Morning Star. Okay, I think I know where to go now, and it's very annoying. Also, a uh, clever use of my time to uh, make it so that it was morning. And yeah, I know the um, bombs are at the bottom of the uh, screen. Haven't really had a need to use them yet. I mean, I guess an argument could be made for the uh, video that just went up today, but... Yeah, um, I probably won't be needing them until I, like, actually do a, uh, chapter or two on a higher difficulty. Which is gonna be sooner rather than later, because I believe chapter three has to be, like, for me to show off everything I'll have to play on intensity seven for that. All right. But yeah, I consulted a guide to figure out where to go from here because this game is very confusing. You take a lot of holy water to defeat. You're a skeleton, you shouldn't take this much. Is he immune? Oh, okay. It's just a little on the weak side, but they still take damage from it. Okay. So it's saying I want to go back over here through this town. This empty town where there's not even a church to heal at. And back through the graveyard. I'm glad everything is giving a lot of hearts here.
Did I dodge him? Ah. There we go. Yeah, I'll just do that. There are people who play this and know what they're doing. That is astonishing to me. Okay, so... It said I want to use... Garlic here? Or not? And yeah, I'm aware of that too. That's why I'm, um, like, that's why in the part I was at today, I didn't, um, advance, like, beyond the trap area to just let them finish the, uh, trap dialogue. Okay, this game is making zero sense. Like, none whatsoever. Path to the Tower of Olden. Oh my god. I have the Morning Star. Power of the Whip. After that, you're done here. Leave the town the way you came in. To the east. To the stairway you skipped over. Go down. Have your holy water equipped. I guess I have to go back to the ferryman, but I don't know how to get to him. Okay, um... This is going to be a problem. I almost took no damage there. But I'm going to lose this life very shortly. Though I could just be careful. Ah. Mux. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are right. Because, um, Magnus does say something for Pit opening the crate. Treasure chest. Yeah, that's on me. But, to be fair, that's also kind of a lot of dialogue for a very short walk. <laughs> Even if I wasn't running. <laughs> God, I hate this town. All right. So I just need to get back to the fairy man, I think. Wow. Okay. All right, just took a lot of spamming and I'm not gonna make it over that water without a laurel. It just interrupts the dialogue, okay. Please perish? Oh my God. <laughs> if this resets his health, I'm going to scream. Thank you. Wow. Wow. What? Was that my laptop? If so, why is it on?
heard a Windows notification. <laughs> um, that was strange. Okay. I don't know why I thought I could drop off there and make it. Okay. Just need to stop playing dumb and start playing smart. Was this the town where I got the Morning Star? I don't remember. Oh, this is a graveyard too, right? Maybe, I'm not sure. No. Got him. Okay, well, I'll take all those. I'm glad these are some one-hit wonders. And I beat this one, right? Yeah, this is looking a little familiar. Seventeen minutes in and I have yet to make any progress. This is, uh, not good. Okay, um... Wow, just... Is there an actual map? Like, world map? Okay, thank you. What in the world? You made this thing in 2018. This, okay. I shouldn't be like that. It's not like I've ever tried to make a map. Okay. Fairyman, Castle 3. Because I have... Four Dracula things. So, yeah, I've beaten Castle 4. Okay, so the way I was going would actually lead to... Castlevania. So I want to get across this lake to go to Castle 5. Question is how? Wait a minute. Didn't I have to do this before? No, but I used a different crystal. Yep. All right. We're making progress. Hi, Sapphire, by the way. We're making progress. Oh, God. I should have seen that coming. This is the better way. All right. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want holy water. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, I can tell I'm not gonna like this screen. How many hits do y'all require? Whatever, just keep running. There is someone down there. Oh my god. Desperately needed to be daytime. Okay, I need to talk to that person, but I probably don't have enough hearts to buy whatever you're selling. Also, this area is pretty big. That's not how you jump. Okay. All right. We're on our way. He's done it. Oh my god, this lag. Um. Yeah, do that. No, no. Come back with a powerful weapon. No, I. Yes, I get that. can't move okay oh wow flame whip huh thank you Kirby's anniversary is today huh well that's news to me I would have known that I probably would have played some Kirby today but I have some plan for the marathon so uh yeah there will be Kirby in the near future. Okay, these lag spikes are ridiculous. All right, more powerful weapon. I will gladly accept that. Nope. Eh. Okay. So now, as long as I continue to go this way, I'll be in a new area. And I can actually accomplish something. Oh, wow. So I killed the flame guy with fire. Makes sense. All right, it's daytime, so enemies will be weaker. Oh God, one tile wide jumps, why? Never mind, it's easy. Hey, one shots. So far, so good. Okay, is this where I want to be? I'm a little on the confused side. Hmm. Okay, so where's Bodley Mansion? Red crystal, you know, like on the air. Come to a cloak, man. What? Okay, wait. What? G 
get to an impossible lake. Alright, go left, then go left one screen. So, oh my god. Looks like I'm going back again. You gotta love how old NES games just did not have maps. I mean, Zelda was able to have a map, and that came out before Castlevania 2. What makes Castlevania 2 any different? Think you're too good for maps? I did not jump. <sighs> okay. Onward we go. I just want to progress. I just want to make progress. Oh no. Please stop. Let me go. Okay. So, I believe this is where I want to be. Or not. Hmm. Okay, do I? It said equip the crystal and face right and kneel. I don't know where though. I am genuinely sorry for like no progress being made whatsoever, but I'm I am at a complete loss on where to go. Um like this this map I found is not helping in the slightest and I'm almost at the point where I'd rather just uh, stop and go to um, Shovel Knight but I want to at least beat another uh, castle yeah, yeah, the things I need to do are ridiculous. Like kneeling in arbitrary areas with a crystal equipped. Like, it makes no sense. Yeah, I'm 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 looking at a long play right now. Shout out to World of Long Plays. Uh, this game was played by Ultima. I think I've seen a long play Ultima's done before. That is a weird thing to remember. Okay. So, where are you going? Yes, I was at that graveyard. Oh, but I had one more item than you. Okay, so yeah, that's where you were there. That's where you're getting the flame whip. What? What? Okay, so there was a hidden book and a random block that I missed. I don't know if that's a trigger for anything. And it looks like he might be grinding hearts right now. So you went back up there. 
quality stream. I'm very sorry. I am so sorry. Like, I'm genuinely trying my best, even though now I'm just here, like, fast-forwarding through a long play. <laughs> Please, just get to the next castle. Yes, you bought laurels. Wait, what? Wait. I'm a little... Okay, yes. You knelt right there. And back through here, across there, okay this game is dumb, <laughs> this game is so dumb. Like, yeah, the constant back and forth is tedious, but... Like, it, it's so weird. Because you don't know, like... Th th there's no tell for anything. And I could understand if, like... Oh my god. <laughs> but it's like, you don't know what walls are breakable and which ones aren't. And granted, Metroid pulls that off too, but you at least have tools at your disposal to figure it out. So you're not just like throwing stuff at every single wall. For example, you can use a super bomb and it'll show, or I'm sorry, a power bomb, and it'll show you like all the block types that are in a given area. With this, there's no tell for what can be destroyed by holy water and what can't. So it's like, you just have to be throwing it everywhere. Thankfully it's not finite like it was in Castlevania 1, but that's still dumb. And yeah, right there, hidden book. How would you figure that out? <laughs> Just by, you know, randomly attacking. Dracula's evil knife blurs Camilla's vision. Okay. Like... I don't... In a weird way, I prefer Castlevania 1 to this. Yeah, it was super hard. But, I mean, it, it's not this. <laughs> like, I'm not, I don't get lost in Castlevania 1. Like, th this isn't even Metroidvania standards. This is just arbitrary do stuff standards. But yeah, apparently I want to use a Laurel here. I mean, I don't have to, but. I'm not going to make it. Okay, use another one. Otherwise, I wasn't going to make it. And here's the next castle. <laughs> oh man, this game. At least I have a good weapon. Also, like on that long play, I'm just checking out of curiosity. All right, he's at this point in an hour and 46 out of a two hour and seven minute uh, long play, so. I might be 20 minutes away from beating this. 
but also he has the advantage of knowing where he needs to go. I just waste it. I wasted all my laurels because I forgot to re-equip my holy water. Well, here's hoping I won't need him against the final boss. Just die. Also, if they throw some fake floors in here, I will murder. Oh my god. Boy, I can't wait till I get to Symphony of the Night. I'm sure I'm gonna have fun with that. That's not sarcasm either, like I genuinely think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. Was not paying attention there. That's on me. I'm also looking forward to the handheld Castlevanias too, because I always hear good things about those. Oh, we got a Stalfos all the way from Zelda. But yeah, um... Symphony of the Night. That really does look like a lot of fun. And I'm sure that's difficult too, but from what I saw, it's more like difficulty in execution and not like oh wow we're not going to tell you where to go plus you actually have a map I beg of you to take these laurels <gasps> oh you're too kind oh okay we damage boost up in here Something in the night is easier if you know what you're doing. There's no stupid BS like this. And stuff to collect for 100, but that's optional. Plus, Fanto from Mario 2? What are you doing here? Um, oh, wow, you do a lot. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna run on past you then. I need a staff, all right. I'm sure beating you will get me something, but first things first, I'm going to get the important things. But yeah, like, I'm sure there are ways to tell, like, what you need, where to go, things of that nature. Like, it won't be as cryptic as this game. I had a feeling I should have climbed all the way to the top. But I mean, I can't be too down on this game considering it's still an, a somewhat early, wow, NES title. Because even the first two Zeldas were pretty shaky. And then you had a uh, link to the past, which was excellent. Well, granted, I'm not as high on link to the past as others are, but eh, that's personal preference. I can at least realize it's a good game. That is an oak staff. Wait, how much do I have? Oh yeah, I have more than enough. Is there a reason to go over there? One warning, there's no invincibility frames in something of the night. If you get cornered with no way out, kiss your life goodbye. Kind of had a feeling that would be the case. Wow. Okay, I chose a bad way to go. 
This seems to be a shortcut. Even though I took a lot of damage. Oh my god. I'm disappointed I missed that jump. Oh yeah, I can deal with no iframes, especially since the movement in the Symphony of the Night seems great. So it probably wouldn't be too detrimental to have no iframes. Yeah, I'm just gonna avoid Fanto. Oh, is that supposed to be Camilla? All right. And then... You now possess Dracula's ring. Cool. All right, and then... Oh, wait, that's everything. Guess it means it's time to go to Castlevania. First things first, I'm gonna see if I can beat Camilla here. Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh, that can hit me from, all right. You don't even seem that hard. Granted, I, I died, but... Oh, yeah, contact damage is ridiculous. Jump. Ah. Don't jump in tour. Jump. Ah, a little too high. All right, all right, Th this isn't, this doesn't seem that bad. Also, I should probably be using, oh my God, that contact damage, the dagger. Um. Okay. Oh my god. How many hits? Because I'm using the best weapon in the game. <laughs> Got her. Ooh. You now... See, they can spell it right for this, but wh why, why not for when we get the Dracula items? You now possess the magic cross. So what does that do? It's, it's up there, so... Is that good or bad? I mean, well, obviously it's gonna be good. Uh, did I watch the Castlevania anime? No, I have not. Um, not out of, like, not wanting to or anything. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I didn't really want to, uh, but that's not a, out of, like, any apprehensions I have about, uh, Castlevania or anything. It's because I just wasn't familiar with it at the time that, uh, like, the anime was at its peak. Yeah, I might go back and give it a watch at some point. I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. Uh, but also, I currently don't have a uh, Netflix subscription. So that's also a little hindrance right there. Um, I don't know. I'm only sub to Funimation right now. And that was mostly to catch up on the Danganronpa anime. But since then, I haven't really been watching anything else on Funimation, so I guess I can go ahead and can that and then resub to Netflix. 
Sorry, don't mind me, just uh, going through the long play to see where I have to go next. So I'm going back through Deathwater Valley. So it looks like I'm going all the way to the right. Maybe. Huh. We go down. Yeah, I was there before. Back through the graveyard. Oh, I am so mad. Okay. All right. Okay, that is dumb. That is very dumb. Wait till I get back there for you to see just how dumb it is. Is is going to be dumb. Oh, just you wait. Then yeah, that's right. Be Camilla. Then going back there. All right. Oh, somebody's already like uploaded the entire thing to YouTube or something. Well, if that's the case. I'm doing weird stuff. Well, yeah, because it is just an extension of the weird stuff, but I still don't have to be happy about it. Dang, so I'm actually glad I didn't figure out what I needed to do at the location that I'm about to head to. Because I would have just been even more upset that I wasted my time getting to the end of the game, only to find out I can't beat it. Oh wait, no. Yeah, we're going back this way. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna be beating this in about, like, 10, 15 minutes. As long as I can make it back to that place. Okay. It's a long walk. So then what's over here? On one hand, I kind of want to see what's over here. On the other hand, I just want to beat this. <laughs> so I can add it to the list of things that I've beaten. And it also seems like I'm going to get the worst ending. Though, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, to get the best ending, you have to beat this in like eight or is it four nights or eight nights? Well, it's a threshold I've already surpassed, that's for sure. All right, actually, I still got it up. Let me take a look. All right, three endings. The best ending is beat the game with little or no continues in under eight hours. I've already gotten a lot of those. No, that can't be right. No, oh, cause yeah, they're, they're just talking about continues. I thought it was based on nights. Well, regardless, I've, I've already used a lot of continues, and I've already used, or wasted, a lot of, uh, nights, or days. So either way, like, I'm not gonna get a good ending. Okay. 
consulting a second opinion. They really just copy and paste it, the other person. Uh, wow. Oh wait, no, that, that's just me being dumb. Um, this, okay. Just trying to see the endings here. And yeah, the items, weapons. Okay. Best ending beat the game in eight days. Yeah, I, I think we passed eight days on the first stream of this. Uh, good ending beat the game in eight to 15 game days. And then the bad ending is beating the game in 15 or more days. So, uh, yeah. I think I am missing, like, an extra weapon. Oh well, I won't have 100%. That <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a game that you might need a guide for. I say might. I don't know if I ever would have beaten this without, like, the help I got on the previous streams and the maps I found today and the long play. But we're almost there. But yeah, like, eight days and whatnot. Like, that is definitely an ending you will not be seeing on your first playthrough. Like, you genuinely have to know what you're doing. And I guess that was their way of getting replay value out of this. Like, okay, it took them eight years to figure out how to beat the game initially, but now that they know where everything is, it only take them you know, one year now, and they can get that, uh, good ending. And then when they've mastered everything and memorized the arbitrary locations of everything, then they can go for the best ending. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what's going through their minds. But all right, we're nearing the end, and then after this, it'll be Shovel Knight. A good game. But no, no. I would say this is, at its core, a good game. Like, mechanically, this is better than Castlevania 1. but it is heavily marred by some bad design choices. And granted, this was really all they could do at the time, but wow. They were already kind of outclassed by, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the likes of Zelda, even Mario to an extent. <laughs> Kirby, definitely, but though Kirby came out way later than this. Like, this this is still in the 80s. I believe. Well, let me check. Yeah, 1988. And already, like, Zelda was doing exploration better. Not Metroid, though. Metroid was, like, original Metroid was just as bad as this. If not worse. Do not ever play original Metroid. J just play Zero Mission. It's the same exact story with the map. Okay, well, not the same exact story because they add, like, more to it. But the more they add is really good. 
And honestly, don't don't play Metroid 2 either. Play play the remake. Like Metroid 2 is like Metroid only Samus now takes up two thirds of the screen. I'm only half exaggerating. Oh my god. I will say... Well, I... Hmm. Okay, actually, now that I think about it, this is a bit of a gift and a curse. I was about to say, like... You know, the fact that we get so many continues and... Like, just... Like, when we get a game over, we continue right from where we were. That... Kind of... Like destroys a lot of the difficulty of this game but then I'm thinking like the alternative would be I would have to start over from the first town with nothing so I will gladly accept this so yeah uh, what do I have to do here I hate it I hate it like you you literally have to jump for that because you, you never would have known <laughs> so yeah um get to that dead end and throw hold well, jump and throw holy water. <laughs> oh man, I cannot wait to move on to Castlevania 3 and 4 and Dracula X and Symphony of the Night and the PS3 games, which were apparently like not really Castlevania games, but Kojima made them so they were still good at like at their core. I right, just toss holy water everywhere. We we know the drill now. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. All right, Dracula, I'm coming for you. So what would have happened if I got here without like all the Dracula items? I don't know. Well, no going back now. So how's he gonna exit after he kills Dracula? I don't even know. All right. Almost there, thank God. Wise from your grave? Oh. Oh, because then all of the Dracula items would then summon them. Wow. Wow, that is a big sprite. Huh. You start me back here. Okay, um... Well... It only took like, uh, 15 minutes to get there, so, you know... Maybe this time it'll go quicker. <laughs> Just... Oh no, I want to go up here. So, was that a one shot or was I taking damage and not paying attention or what? Okay, well, for start, I'm out of garlic for some reason. Okay, uh, well, that's unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna use laurels then. Okay, just jump and get him. I don't know. Wow. Um. What?
so two hits and I'm dead. Okay then, um, huh. This is going to be a thing. Oh no, I used up my last laurel. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Uh, well. <laughs> um. We might have a problem here. Because <laughs> now I don't have invincibility. Help. I'm so afraid. Hi, Leo. Yeah, so, um, I'm here fighting, uh, Dracula. Only I have, uh... No, uh, <laughs> no laurels and no garlic. So, um, it's an uphill battle. It is an uphill battle, to say the least. Uh, let's try holy. Okay, do not touch him. Is this working? Do I have him stun locked? No, because then he'll do that. Um, oh my god. play these games so you don't have to. Oh, man. Um, this is problematic. I... Oh, man. Um, is this a JoJo's reference? I, I don't even know at this point. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So, the holy waters seem to have stunned him, like stun locked him. And I do have the best whip in the game. I'm just going to uh, spam them both and see what happens. That seems like it'll work. I hope. Alright, take three, I guess. I've lost count. No, this might be four. Alright. Hurry up and die so I can play Shovel Knight. No, do not go that way, Simon Belmont. I can't tell if this is effective or not. Uh, Alright, may maybe no. <laughs> Come on! What is... <laughs> I need... Oh my god, I need laurels. I need... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, most good games are BS. Ah! <laughs> All right, so um, does that mean you consider like seal bond action to be a good game? Well, no, I mean, to be fair, you go into that game expecting like troll. Like it, it's not trying to hide what it is. Same thing with I want to be the guy, like you know exactly what you're getting with that. So, so fair enough on those regards. Not to mention, I want to be the guy is actually designed well, for the most part. I mean, it's it's not programmed well because it always crashes, but it's designed fairly well.
But yeah, it heavily depends on the game. <laughs> like, I don't think anybody would say uh, Superman 64 is a good game, and that's filled with a lot of BS. But then Dark Souls and Bloodborne, they're filled with BS too. But they are good games because they're designed around that and they give you the tools to deal with what's coming your way. And yeah, that's fair enough on hard parts, but we're also dealing with a game here where, like, to advance, you have to know the right spot to, uh, like, crouch for about 10 seconds. And that's to progress. You know, or like know the exact empty rooms where you need to throw holy water at the floor to get better weapons. <laughs> But, I mean, you know, also this is a 1988 game, so you can't be, like, too, too critical. I mean, you can, but to hold it to 2020 standards is a little, eh. But at least they got their act together for, uh, oh, yes. I'm tempted to grind, uh, whatchamacallit, hearts to get more laurels. But, um, yeah, at least they got their act together for the later games. Oh, yeah, it was, it was a thought that I was having earlier that I, like, trailed off on because I got confronted with bullshit. But, um... Yeah, a lot of games from this era. It took until like the third game. Yeah, oh yeah, because I, I did mention that with uh, um, Link to the Past and how that was leaps and bounds better than Zelda 1 and Zelda 2. Same thing with Mario. Like, yeah, it's considered a classic. It's a lot of people's first games, including mine. It was either that or Duck Hunt, but Mario 1 is garbage. <laughs> It is. There's no, like, getting around it. And Mario 2, like, both the American Doki Doki Panic version and the Japanese Lost Levels version are also pretty bad. Though there's stuff in the U.S. version of Mario 2 that makes it better than Mario 1. Sort of like how there was stuff in Zelda 2 that made it somewhat better than Zelda 1, and there's things in this game that are better than Castlevania 1. But then, when Mario 3 came out, why, like, it, it changed the game. Mario 3 is excellent. Um, yeah, Kirby... Honestly, Kirby didn't really go through that. Like, Kirby's adventure was great. Oh, well, no, but that wasn't even the first game. Actually, was Kirby's adventure the third game? Holy shit, I think it was, actually. Um, so yeah, Kirby 1 was uh, on, or Kirby's Dream Land was for Game Boy, Kirby's Dream Land 2 was also for Game Boy, and those were pretty bare bones, but not awful. Then you had Kirby's Adventure at the tail end of uh, the NES life cycle, and it's an amazing game. And yeah, Mega Man, like, Mega Man 1 is... Like, it, I, I find joy in playing it, or entertainment in playing it, but it's not the best. 
it has a lot of issues. And then Mega Man 2 addressed those issues and made a much better game. And then Mega Man 3 took that, flipped it on its head, and made a great game. Though I'm more partial to Mega Man 1 and 2 over 3. That, that's just me, because I'm not a fan of the Doc Robot levels. Don't mind me, just waiting for daytime. <laughs> we can chill. So, uh, yeah, just... I don't know, don't know what to talk about. Oh my god, these bots are so annoying. Like, these new, uh, comment bots that are now showing up on videos lately. Where it's like, about a minute or two after your video goes up. Like, they'll just automatically comment like, Oh man, great video, I love the content, keep it up! And then it'll immediately go into like, by the way, I have this channel or click here to get more subscribers. And it's like, I don't know. It, it seems kind of wrong to leave up those comments because it's fake uh, engagement. But at the same time, I mean, if it doesn't have a link, then I mean, it's helping me out. So. Mega Man 11 is your favorite? I like Mega Man 11. I don't love it, but that could have also been because I had my expectations super high. <laughs> because Capcom was hyping that up. And then the Stone Man demo, or Block Man demo, was amazing! And then it's like, oh, None of the other bosses are kind of like that. That's a letdown. But at its core, it's still a good game. Hmm. Watch Kadakra's review all those games and witness all the BS of those games. I still need to get through a lot of Mega Man. And I need to play the Zero games. I still have that, like... Well, not wrapped, uh, because I needed to get the uh, gold points on my Switch. Uh, but, yeah, I haven't played it. And I have a friend who, well, had a friend who called it, like, a really amazing series. So, yeah, I got to check that out at some point. So, yeah, I'm just in here to buy more laurels to deal with Dracula's BS. Uh, we are going to just uh, spam through them. Do I... Do I go for six? Do I go for six? I am tempted to go for six. I will not go for six. Unless I just so happen to get enough hearts in this screen. And of course, the moment I say that, they stop giving me hearts. Also, what was up with so many games around this time? and hearts being currency instead of health. Oh my god, this screen. Yeah, Kid Icarus, uh, this game. Strange. Okay. Eh, yeah, I'll just wait for that one. Party for the fight. <laughs> Go for six, I'll need them. Hopefully I can buy some in here. No, I think this is like a ghost town. Yeah, because they give me nothing. In here. And the last house just has a woman like, uh, stay with me forever. And it's like, no. I don't know you like that. K 
Kid Icarus is kind of weird. You're not wrong. But also, I would argue that's a bit of a technological marvel for the NES. Like, it's actually kind of amazing that that game is actually like th the way it is for how early it came on the NES and for what it does, like how it combines the um, like vertical platforming thing along with Metroidvania aspects and a map. So I mean, it's, wait, did it have maps? Or am I thinking of the uh, 3D remake for 3DS? Could be wrong. Never played uh, the second Kid Icarus game. Cause yeah, Uprising is actually the third. Nobody talks about the second Kid Icarus game. Oh, it didn't have a map, dang. Donkey Kong Country has balloons for lives. Yeah. But I mean, in terms of health though. Oh, what? No, no, you don't. No, you have to get the uh, barrels for health. I'm thinking of uh, Tropical Freeze, where you actually did get hearts for health. But yeah, I was more so talking about games where, um, like, they have hearts for currency as opposed to healing. All right, Dracula, take whatever. Um, this life will be forfeit. Wasn't on the classic NES. I know it's on the 3DS Virtual Console. I just haven't got it yet. I actually haven't bought anything on my 3DS ever since I had to migrate things over to the new one. It's like when you lose all of your Street Pass progress, you just... It's kind of debilitating, like, or demoralizing. I had so much Street Pass progress, it was ridiculous. Like... I had a lot of pro like, I think I might have been at 10,000. Oh my god. This fight is so fucking dumb. And then like, cause, cause what happened was, my original 3DS died. And it was after the point where Nintendo of America would fix them. Despite the fact that Nintendo of Japan would fix them. It was even at the point where I was like, look, I know what the exact issue is. Can you just send me the part? I'll pay whatever for it and do it myself. But nope, they couldn't do that either. So, yeah, they had to migrate everything over. So, yep, yeah, I had to re-download everything and I lost anything that was tied to the system itself. Uh, so, like, all of my saves for digital games were gone. All of my Street Pass stuff just messed up because I finished all the puzzles. Um, I was already on cycle two of, uh, me, oh, what, what is it? It's not save me. Um, it's the one where you're in the mansion. That one was really good. Um, and it's like almost like Tetris in a sense. Oh my God. Is he dead? You little, yes, get it. All right, this is not um, <laughs> fulfilling at all. The battle has consummated. I don't think that's the word you want to use there. Uh, now peace and serenity have been restored to Transylvania. Can this text go any slower? And the people are free. 
of Dracula's curse forever. And you, Simon Belmont, will always be remembered for your bravery until you get announced for Smash Ultimate and people are like, who are you? And courage. But yeah, um, I'm trying to think. The only, because I was wrapping up progress on that racing game and the fishing game. And, oh yeah, and um, the, the zombie game. That one was a lot of fun. Like, I was going to beat those, and then I was going to move on to the final set of games. Like, I didn't get the stock market one. I think there was a cooking one. Oh, yeah, I had mastered the uh, flower growing one, too. But, yep, all that progress was gone, and all the people I, um, like, street passed, all those are gone, too. I had Kyle Herbe, Her, Herbert, Her, Herbert, the voice actor, Kyle H-E-B-E-R-T. I had his me. And it's gone forever. That was... That was... That one hurt the most. That one hurt the most. Because he even brought his, like, 3DS with him to, like, th this convention I go to one year. And he, like, like wanted to meet everybody he street passed and, like, just, like, shake their hands or give them an autograph. And that was a nice moment. But I don't have his me anymore, so, oh well. Anyway, um, yeah, that boss was Dracula. It was, um, yeah, we, we don't question what Dracula was doing. I mean, I had to revive him in the first place, so I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was Castlevania 2. I will probably never play that again. Uh, <laughs> maybe to get the best ending, but I don't even know if it would be worth it. I would... Like, that would have to be no wasted momentum. And knowing exactly where to go. I would probably need to use save states. Um, yeah, essentially, that is what had to happen. I had to get all of the, uh, like, Dracula pieces, like his rib and his toenail and um, his ring and his heart. And then use that to summon him. And then kill him. But, yeah, like, I don't know if you were here, Leo, when I was going over what needs to be done for the other endings, but to get the best ending for this game, you need to beat it in eight in-game days. So every time you saw the, um, like, thing that said, oh, what a horrible night to have a curse, um, like, that's a transition from day to night. And then the transition from day to morning is the next, like, day. And you have to beat the game in eight transitions of that to get the best ending. So, yeah, uh, the long play I found for this, they beat the game in two hours. Um, I'm just curious to see how long it took me. An hour 27... This was the only thing I've been playing on my Wii lately, so shouldn't be too hard. An hour 38, so let's just round up to three hours. And then, I think this is only three sessions. All right, so six and a half hours, give or take. Um, Honestly, that's not that bad. And yeah, um, I think that might be it yeah okay so yeah six and a half hours not bad all right but uh give me about five to ten minutes i'm about to switch games to shovel knight going from whatever the hell this was to a good game oh boy
Yay! All right. So, um, I didn't do anything different this time, but it decided to work. And, yeah, I do have a cave story. Um, I actually LP'd it. Uh, beat it. Well, I was going for the best ending. Yeah, I tried to do uh, Bloodstained Sanctuary, a.k.a. Hell, a while back. Gave up because it was too hard. So, yeah, that's kind of like unfinished business. But I beat the main game, so... I guess that's all that matters. You know, actually getting a good ending while not getting the best ending. But one day I'll wrap it up for the channel. Are you serious? Okay, fine. Don't worry, I have fiber internet. This shouldn't take too long. But yeah, um... This is one of few games I've actually, like, willingly rebought. Because I do own this on, uh... Wii U. And... Like, all the updates I was getting was coming for the Wii U version. But I was like, you know what? I don't really want to be confined to the Wii U for this. Plus, I like the portable aspect of the uh, Switch. So I just went ahead and rebought it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there's only a handful of games that I rebuy because I figure, like, you know, if I own it once, that that's fine enough. Plus, I keep all of my consoles, so if I ever really want to, like, replay something, I can just find the console it's on and, uh, plug it in. Yeah, Amiibo, all that's enabled. Okay, just making sure. This is actually my first time playing it on Switch, but I've beaten, uh, the main campaign, Plague Knight and Spectre Knight, and their challenges all on Wii U. So, by the time I get to, um... King Knight, like King Knight will be the only thing encountered in these streams that I n have not experienced. Oh, they added color mine? Oh, that's nice. Screen shape. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'm good on all that. Wow, that's that's nice. Alright. Oh wow, and I think this is where. Oh wow, 20 saves? But don't they have it so that you can, like, set up how you want the knights to appear? Hmm. Oh well. We'll just go with the basic then. Shovel Knight, Shovel of Hope. Uh, yeah, we'll just put a name there. Uh, why not? Oh, yeah, body swap mode. Before you begin, would you like to swap the bodies of any characters in the main cast? You can perform this action at any time in the pause menu. Yeah, why not? Oh, they don't show you on here? I want to see how the sprites compare. Aw. I am tempted to do random. Then opposite, so... I, I wish they would show you the sprites so you could compare them. I'm actually disappointed by that. Uh, colorblind, how does that operate in this game? Um, just... Honestly, actually, I don't know. I think it might change the text color uh, of some of the characters and, and like, some of the, um, like, colors of enemies and other NPCs just to make them more visible for people because I believe there are some uh, later, like, platforming stages that are color-based. So you have to, like, be careful of those. And, like, the colorblind aspect would make it easier for, uh, like, people who have, like, you know, the basic things of colorblind, like red. Is it red and green or yellow and green? Uh, I can't remember. But, yeah, it makes, like, certain things easier to deal with for them. 
uh, just like the screen shake could be for people who have uh, motion sickness and the uh, like the flashing lights for people with photosensitivity issues so yeah screw it we'll, we'll go with opposite that way I can definitely see how everybody's different all right Mole Knight is going to be hilarious as a woman. How's that going to work? Would you... Or, or, or are they just going to add hair? Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Yeah, it is a nice touch. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. Especially since they had to redo these, like the artwork for everything to match up with that. Their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. Her spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchanter, in his order of no quarter. Now, the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. If you change Shield Knight's gender, the Enchantress's gender changes as well. I mean... Uh, you know, avoiding spoilers here, but yeah, that does make sense. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, just, just getting reaccustomed to the controls here. Alright, and we're off. Oh, this feels so much better than playing, like, on a freaking Wii U gamepad. Alright. So, yeah, if you're not familiar with Shovel Knight, well... A, rectify that by the game. There, it's amazing. And B, it's kind of like Mega Man, only with a melee attack. It's hard dish 2D platforming with an emphasis on combat and exploration. Well, no, I, I can't even really say exploration. Well, yeah, you got a little like ground pound thing. Oh my god wrong button there you have all the powers of a shovel so when I have shorter horns yeah oh, uh, oh yeah that is a shorter horn thing okay so about to make a very bad joke like not a poor taste or anything it was just a, a bad very, very bad joke. Like, I guess uh, this Shovel Knight isn't as horny as the other one that... I, and yet I still went through with it. Why? What's wrong with me? Okay. It yeah, just get wrecked. Also, the music in this game. Excellent. Just... Nothing but good to say about it. Well, hello there, dragon. Yeah, you know what? Um, screw you. <laughs> Easy. Give me my money. Yeah, bad in terms of execution, you're not wrong. There we go. Get out of there. A female version will have smaller horns. I guess they want to like to make it even more visible in how they differ, but that is a fair point. Like it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Sort of like with some of the uh, gender differences in Pokemon. Like some of them are just I I, I don't know. It's kind of pointless. Or dumb in the case of uh, 
Wap Buffett. Wap Wap Buffett. However you pronounce it. Because all they do is just add lipstick to it. Like, okay, a Pokemon wearing lipstick? Then again, Jinx does, so what the hell do I know? So anyway, we're about to get some music. Here we go. That'll be important later on. Well, not necessarily important, but it'll come into play later on. All right. There we go. And then just doing that. Oh, my aim is still as good as ever. It feels like my mobility is a lot better, too, now that I'm not playing on Wii U. I mean, to be fair, the Wii U uh, gamepad analog stick is pretty stiff. Leave no treasure unobtained. There we go. All righty. Don't worry, we'll get it. There we go, and chicken. Which reminds me, I have not eaten dinner yet. And by me bringing awareness to that, I'm going to be starving now. Like, my stomach is going to react negatively. And that's all on me. Shovel Knight is Wario. No, um, no, no. Because, see, Shovel Knight actually cares about helping others. Wario only cares about helping himself. Like, when Wario saves other people's lives, it's... It's incidental. Shovel Knight actually sets out to save lives and collect treasure along the way. I say that as a huge Wario fan. But yeah, like, War Wario don't care. It, there we go. It, there we go. So far, so good. Haven't died yet. Famous last words. Also, no way in hell am I going for the uh, achievement where you, like, beat every stage without a checkpoint. <laughs> I ain't about that life. Especially since some of these stages get pretty difficult. Jump seems a lot higher than what I remembered. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah! Oh, crap. Thank you for the carrot. Shovel Knight is more like Link. You're not wrong. Actually, yeah, you even got the downward stab from Zelda 2, now that I think about it. Fair enough. Actually... Yeah, to compare this game to Zelda 2 would probably be more apropos than comparing it to, uh, shoot. Um, uh, uh, Mega Man. Though, when you really look it up, like, a lot of places sort of refer to this as a Mega Man-like 2D platformer. But yeah, it is more or less Zelda 2. Well, no, no, because Zelda 2 is more about the exploration, while this does have a focus on um, platforming. No, why did Treasure have to fall? It didn't hurt nobody. Yeah, get out of here. Skellington. Well, that's a jump. Yeah, you know, shoot, it's the uh, new game from uh, Dino Tech Software. That is a deep cut. Actually, did they? 
No, no, no. They had some weird names for their games. Yeah, uh, that is a game dev company you have probably never heard of. They did like weird puzzle games for the like for DOS. And yet I remember their name. And some of their games, like Falling Oz. Look, I had a lot of shovelware as a kid, okay? Including this one game for PC. Where it was just a collection of like a hundred games. At the time I was like, oh cool, a hundred games! This is gonna be great! And then like half of them are clones of each other, half of them didn't even work. <laughs> it was... PC gaming in the 90s was a different beast entirely, and I do not miss it. <laughs> Shovelware, I see what you did there. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchanter, and his invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchanter has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. Oh, wow. Did they even, like, heighten the pitch of the, uh, laugh? Alright, so, uh, we're fighting, uh, Black Knight here, and I am, uh, I'm not doing so hot. Okay, clearly I need my, uh, weapons back. Because <laughs> this ain't happening. Alright. Oh no. I tried. And yeah, I set everything to opposite, so that is a female Black Knight. Okay. There we... We're going... Why am I having so much trouble? Okay. You shouldn't be this hard. You're the first boss. <laughs> okay, apparently you think that's an insult. Even though it's fact. Come on. Get a combo going. Not, oh my god. Come on. went into them choosing who had a spinoff and who didn't. Plague Knight I can understand because, like, if memory serves correctly, he was one of the more popular knights. Maybe they did just base it off of popularity. Then Specter Knight, nobody really talks about Specter Knight. Unless there was some, uh, popularity polls I missed out on. Same thing with, um... King Knight. Oh my god. Come on! Yeah, fair enough, but, I mean... 
it's still a story surrounding Spectre Knight. So I guess they probably wanted to expand on the whole like locket thing he had going on. Um, no spoilers for King Knight's story though. I I want to experience that on my own, but he was also a bit of a weird choice. Could you imagine what they would have done with Tinker Knight? That's what I want to see. There we go. Who else would have been good? Like, Treasure Knight would have just fit with the brand. They could have turned uh, Propeller Knight into like a shmup. Phones ringing, muting for a minute. All right, just had to mute. Our caller ID says names out loud, so kind of want to avoid doxing people on stream like that. Catch them. No. Yeah, I got him. Polar Knight would have been really good too, actually. Up, oh, wait. Do your part. Put out the fire. Only you can prevent forest fires. I like that that's an achievement. Okay, onward we can go to village. Oh, duh. This isn't the Wii U anymore. Oh, no weapons. We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, ha, that's no weapon. Just a shovel. You may enter then and don't forget. Press up to talk to everyone. <laughs> Foolish. He thinks swords can't be weapons. Well, hey, oh, hail traveler. I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. Lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lays scattered across the land. Ever find a music sheet? Return it to me and I shall reward you. Handsomely. Whoa, you have two music sheets. Magnificent. Take 500 gold for each. Yes. Let's see here. What you found? Strike the earth. Un. That trumpet triplets. Is there anything you can't render into pure magic? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime. Just ask. So yeah, here's the sound test. Hmm. Okay. Just trying to remember what I can do here. Hmm. Do I have to buy his meal? I think I do, actually. Oh, yeah, to upgrade my health, yes. Okay, meal ticket. That was a pallet, no time or less, so bon appetit and pardon the mess. Well, now it seems like a stronger shovel knight, or like more experienced version. Yeah, you're not wrong. Like, at all, because Polar Knight fights with a shovel as well. And seems to know a lot about stuff. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Just upgrade as much as I can right now. But yeah, it's like they kept teasing that like there's some lore behind Polar Knight. Would have been nice if they would have explored that. A new face, dancers, acolytes, witches, goats. Everyone's welcome in here. Ooh, that's Spectre Knight. If someone could defeat her, I would bestow upon them my greatest treasure. Oh, it was me, the king of nothing, not to rule but my lone bar stool. Queen Knight sits on Pride Moore's throne. That gilded goon shall get her soon. Were they always rhyming? I genuinely don't remember. Double trouble, soil and shovel, my third eye knows your useless infos. Excavadio, the number of dig piles you've dug is seven. Or in Phenosia, the amount of gold you've collected is 6161. Manitou Refutum, the number of times you've fallen in battle is five. Well, d don't, don't talk about that. Total time you spent adventuring is 18 minutes. After we see all your acts, come back for again for more useful facts. Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. 
I'm not a witch. <laughs> Isn't there? Yeah, I remember this. Hello, Mon. I mean, mysterious person who won't be important until a later. Oh, they do give your name this early. Okay. Uh, I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm stranded here. Shall we pass the time with a little game? I just need 100 gold first. Yes. Right? I'll conjure up some things and you can hit them toward the targets for points, okay? Alright. Okay. I cannot remember how many points I need for this. Ah, crap. Ah. I want to hit the ones that split apart, though. Like, there we go. I, the screen flashed. That means good. There we go. Okay, seventy-two. Yeah, Mona shows up this early. Got 72 points. That's not very good. Trying to impress me? Really? 75. Okay. We can do better then. We have the shovel. Come on. can do this apparently not what is my accuracy Okay, we've done it. So isn't there an achievement for getting like 120 or something? Uh, well, whatever, at least I got 100. Got 100 points. Good job, I guess. Take this and come back if you get bored again. Yay, that was just for money. I thought she actually gave you something worthwhile for that. actually did really like Plague Knight's story. Yeah, it was like very, very predictable. But I liked it. Shovel Knight, I know things are tough, but don't throw in the trowel. Oh yeah, you're gonna keep uh, giving me jokes. That Queen Knight, you give her an inch, she take or thinks she's a ruler. Get it? I traveled with some horse adventurers, but they were all so negative. I was afraid as I jumped over the bottomless pit, but then I got over it with Bennett Foddy. I wondered why the Black Knight's shovel was getting bigger, then it hit me. I'm sure your quest will pay off in spades, hero. <laughs> the Gotician? He may feast on valuable meal tickets, but overall he's not a bad fellow. Super skeletons are way too serious. They can't take a little humorous ribbing. 
the bar performs on the street because when he's inside, he can't conduct himself. These are all awful. Have I told you about the broken sword? And never mind, it's pointless. Plague Knight tried to tell me a joke, but it has too, or it was too formulaic. She failed to get any reaction. Okay, that was actually pretty good. I talked with Mona the other day. Bad attitude, breaking beakers everywhere. Such a vile woman. Have you talked to the juice maid? I tried to squeeze her for information, but I'm not sure she had anything pulpy to extract. My efforts were totally fruitless. Okay, you were trying too hard on that one. I applied to be a Trapple Acolyte, but they said my application looked fishy, so they hired me. Yeah, King Knight changed it to Queen Knight, don't want to forget. Using a shovel as a weapon, what a groundbreaking idea. Arrow signs are all the rage in the village these days, but I think they're on the way out. Boo. I say as I laugh. I forgot what Rise was using as a weapon, but then it came back to me. Boomerang, get it? Propeller Knight can fly around using a bladed propeller helmet. Now that that is cutting edge. Come on, are we almost done here? Visit the nightclub down in the mines? Yet, a swinging abyss. That's supposed to be like a swing and a miss? How about the new hotel in the Iron Whale? I found their room substandard and the place was a wreck. Well, you can't keep going forever. The Baz is a master of the rope whip. Natural talent, or was he taught? Okay, that was good. Thanks for listening to all of my great jokes. Yeah, relative. I'd ask for a tip, but a well-told pun is its own reword. We're done. Okay. Hello, fish friend. All hail the Trouble King. Oh. Kind of skipped through that. Who? Never heard of the Trouble King? Half trout and half apple, pronounced like mouthful. He is one of the forest gods, here to help those in need. I'm telling the truth. If you ever visit the sacred grotto, hold your chalice aloft and the Trouble King will appear. As it happens, I have been entrusted to sell Trouble Chalices to believers. Would you like one? I ain't got enough. So you start repeating? Yep, okay. And then you will be important later on, unless I'm not doing my due diligence. Hey, blue girl, you wouldn't believe the merchandise I've got for you today. Why not have a look? Oh, no, you do sell stuff before that. Chaos Sphere? What's that? I remember the fishing rod, of course. What? What's the Chaos Sphere? Yeah, Trouble King is cool. Okay. There we go. Incredible, you really are Shovel Knight. Yeah. These buckets are heavy. I just made them heavier for you. Also, no fun allowed, kid. Oh, you can't get rid of it completely. All right, fair enough. Wow, Miss Knight, nice stick. Come on, let's play. All right, fine. Uh, oh, hello, my flightless friend. If you have an amiibo, I can transform it into a fairy companion. How would you like me to summon some fairy fun for you? Nah, we're good for right now. Shovel Knight, many trials await you. Don't despair. May each defeat strengthen your resolve. Okay. So I'm just gonna use you to get up here, get up here, get that. And more music. Oh, Chaos Sphere bounces around like a Super Ball from uh, Mario Land. Got it. Okay. See, I do have music right now. I could drop it off, but eh. Let's go to a level. Um, let's go fight Queen Knight. It's shoveling time. So first thing first, we're gonna go over here. I forgot how good this music was 
2, every stage has really good music. And there's nothing else of worth over here. <laughs> that never happened. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, grab these mysterious uh, treasure bags that are just like here for no strange reason. Like, I, I guess a random traveler might have died there. I don't know. Okay. So now onward to the stage proper. We need to be careful, we need to be calm, we need to be cool, we need to be collected. Not really, this is an easy stage. Honestly? I'm more amazed that like they consider Spectre Knight stage to be worthy of Area 1. When Spectre Knight stage is a little tough. Oh wow, that I should have seen that coming. What's wrong? What what is what what is happening right now? Okay, patience. That's all you need. There we go. Flying rats. We got pigeons. Oh no, pigeons are rats with wings. These are rats with propellers. It's kind of different. I'm probably about to die, which is kind of sad, considering I haven't done anything yet. Boy, that uh, Chaos Sphere would actually be pretty helpful right now. Okay, watch out for the orb. There we go. I mean, I guess I could have did that too, but we're being careful. Favorite wandering traveler. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um. Okay, confined to the Shovel Knight world, I will also agree with Mr. Hat. But from a meta standpoint, I have to go with the Baz. Because I just like the idea of, like, somebody paying to have an OC appear in, like, countless indie games. Then again, doesn't the guy who has Rise does that too? Like, pays to have that character show up in everything? But also, I like fighting games, and Baz is an homage to fighting games because the super best friends. All right, he's done it. Plus, even as a character, Baz is goofy and he's funny. Ah oh, man, I cannot remember the name of the one that as the rapier. I mean, all of the travelers are really cool in their own right. Okay. Nope. Uh, I should not be alive. <laughs> Come on. Well, you gotta be perfect for this. All right, really? There we go. Oh, Phantom Striker. Okay. There we go. In the village or out of the field. Or, oh my God. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. 
You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Wanna see? Yep. The flare wand. Hold up and press Y. It's a wand that shoots fireballs. Watch your magic meter. So, uh, no, I don't want to talk to you. So, um, yeah, observe. It's a long range weapon. I will probably never use it. I'm trying to think, what items did I really use? Wow. Um. Ooh, that treasure is at a not good location. Um. I might just leave it alone. Yeah, that doesn't seem worth it. Yeah, I do remember using the bombs a bit. Um, Propeller Knight's item I would use too. Or am I thinking of uh, Plague Knight? Oh no. All the Knight stories are colluding together in my brain. Well, what do we have in here? I just hope I'm going the right way because I do remember that um, this gets a little uh, non-linear. Oh my god, did I screw up? Oh my god. There's a will, there's a way. There we go. I cannot believe I remembered that. That you can uh, reflect projectiles. Certain projectiles. I don't think that works for all of them. Could be wrong, though. Oh, right. Yeah, I probably should have tweeted out that I'm on Shovel Knight now. It's a little late for that. Yeah, I'm... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get that checkpoint. Not today. What did I miss? Oh, not much. All right. Oh, well. Am I safe right here? Oh, yeah, because you do that. All right, but then I can just... Hmm. My god, what is your hitbox? There we go. And there's a save point, and then there's flying rats. We got this. So, what is everyone playing right now? I'm still in that, uh... Whatchamacallit, uh, Animal Crossing phase right now. I'll probably be playing daily for the foreseeable future. Oh, I wanted to go up there. That's right. Um, yeah, we can take this death. But yeah, I'm still playing that daily. Um, on the lookout for good turnip prices this week. Because I'm going to be honest, it's not looking too good. I might be on a decreasing. No! Almost. But they also like respawn quickly when you're off screen, so. Come on. And yeah, I'm still playing depiction, but I. I'm on the tail end of the puzzles in that. There we go. But yeah, I don't know what I'll be playing 
after I'm done with depiction, um, Animal Crossing, that's gonna be a game I play for a hot minute, especially since, like, the director said that they plan to, like, continue to do stuff for it going into, like, year two. And considering that game was in development for eight years, uh, yeah, they probably have a lot ready for it. Or a lot in store, rather. But yeah, after depiction, I don't know what I'll play. I guess nothing's stopping me from starting uh, the Final Fantasy VII Remake. I mean, it's not like anything else major is coming out. I mean, there is the uh, Xenoblade Chronicles remake, but A, I'm going to be LPing that. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to play through it again, just so I, I remember what's coming up. Well, I guess that's also what, um, like me having the original game is for, too. Uh, how do I get out of here? Not that way. Oh, duh. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the Xenoblade Chronicles remake. I'm sorry, Definitive Edition. With way better graphics. Now they actually look like humans. But, yeah, aside from that, I don't really know what else is going to be coming out relatively soon. Really? Oh, I was accidentally using my uh, fire rod. Whoops. Yeah, I don't quite know what other games will be coming out in the near future, but that's fine. I have a really huge backlog of games, so I, I won't be hurting for, like, things to play. Just wish I had more time in the day. If we weren't working remotely, I damn sure would have taken, like, a week off by now. I actually have the uh, vacation days to do so. But yeah, I figure, hey, if we're working remotely, then why waste my vacation time? Especially since now it's kind of tapered off and we have a lot of extra help. All right, we got that music sheet. Booyah, there we go. Okay. Want to see a magic trick? Oh, yeah. But that never happened. Oh, no. <sighs> really? There we go. All right. Let's try this again. No. There we go. And then abracadabra. Yep. I oh, nope. Hi, y'all. Nope. <sighs> I tried. That's what I get for being cocky. Hubris strikes again. Oh, well. It's not hard. It's not difficult. It's not complicated. I don't like how that's timed up. Okay. Bam. Boom. Bop. Thank you. Haha. <laughs> You're not going to get me that easy. Might have been born yesterday, but I stayed up all night. Okay. Oh, no. How dare you try to bomb me. And then another griffin. Let's go ahead and beat up Peter here. Oh no. There we go. Onward to victory. 
Yeah, maybe I should actually tweet this out. Um, after the fact. Uh, well, nah, nah, it's kind of too late to do it now. No point in tweeting now that I'm playing uh, Shovel Knight. Missed my chance. An interloper is in our midst to be gone from our throne room knave. I'm no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real queen. Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchanter saw me for my fabulously regal self and now all bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. Thought they would have at least changed up that insult, but okay. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Silence. I like Queen Knight's design. I like it. A lot. I also forgot how to fight you. Okay. When in doubt, pogo attack. Yep. And then you do a little of that, but then you stay stationary and then I can get in some good hits. Or I could just spam. Um, One more hit! There we go. Do we really need to get that upskirt shot? Eh, whatever. Incendentary. Yeah, I like that design. And so we rest. Okay, I know I don't have to keep doing this, but hey, it's free treasure. Oh, wow. A free treasure is always good. So Pride Moor's done. Um, we got an enemy that showed up on the map. Let's go ahead and take care of that. This is similar to the stuff you can do in Fire Emblem, at least. In terms of enemies showing up on the map that you can deal with and, like, fight for extra experience and money and treasure. Yeah, get fired upon. Booyah. Getting all of that and then... Do not get hit. I could have did a chain reaction and did the skull into the next one, but I wasn't even thinking, but we're done. All right. Uh, but I don't have anything to bring to the Trapple uh, King right now. So we'll just go here real quick. Drop off this music. In the halls of the Usurper. First publicly performed lair theme. You might say it kick-started my career. Get it because this game was made possible through Kickstarter. Honestly, is Shovel Knight the biggest Kickstarter success story? I mean, yeah, Shantae and um, the um, Half Genie Hero, was that the Kickstarter one? That was a success too, but it didn't get the fanfare that Shovel Knight did or the long-term support. Um... Mighty Number no. 9 was technically a success, but we all know how that game turned out. Um, Indivisible, maybe? I guess? Though the Switch version still hasn't come out. I'm waiting. Um, yeah, what, what other Kickstarter games were there that did decent after the fact? Um... This one on the tip of my tongue, I know. Oh, River City Ransom Underground, but that didn't have a lot of fanfare either. Aside from uh, the angry musician who was DMCAing people's uh, videos of that illegally. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd rather save this for the Tropple stuff. There was one more, like, Kickstarter thing on the tip of my tongue. Pride more, hurrah, I can't wait to greet old Plume and Beaky, they probably can't wait to see me. 
Oh yeah, blood stained. Yeah, that that's finally out. Um, though it didn't have a lot of fanfare, it, it's almost like Mighty Number no. Nine really just took people out of the Kickstarter craze. Like, oh yeah, uh, stuff like this can happen. We need to be very careful. So yeah, get them chalices. You have nothing else to give me. And yeah, I'll go ahead and get the uh, Super Ball. And the Fishing Rod. Okay. Onward we go to Spectra Knight. I just had to show off on the kid. All right, here we go. The Lish Yard. Get digging. I remember thinking this stage was too hard back when I first played this. It is a tough stage. There we go. I mean, I, I'm getting wrecked by these frogs. Yeah, you know what? That one can just live. Oh, didn't even see you there. And now let's desecrate some graves. The spirits within don't like that. But why would they? And here we go. Goodbye. Hi, Dennis Prager. Okay. Wasn't expecting you to show up. I'm going to need your assistance here, buddy. Th ah. There we go. Did not mean to fish. And hi, Mario and Sonic Fan 312. Yep, I saw your uh, username when you commented before I went live. Started later than I anticipated, unfortunately. You missed beating, uh, or me beating um, Castlevania 2, but I mean, that game was kind of awful, so you didn't miss much. I'm just not going to even deal with these ghosts. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to leave. And onward we go. I desperately need some help. That's not help. I'm probably about to die. Why am I fighting you when I'm about to die? Oh my god. That's on me. All right, let's not waste time with frivolous matter. So, yeah, get get away. Okay. Come on, you Big such and such. Yeah, there we go. All right. Why well, is the Griffin who was also hard? Eh, well, yeah, your first time encountering the Griffin, it is tough, but I don't know with a lot of these mini bosses, once you can figure out how to just pogo on them, they're not all that bad. So did Dennis Prager leave? He needs to go find some urine and feces. Yes, urine and feces. That is a meme that probably no one will get unless they watch YouTube poops. 
which kind of aren't a big deal in this 2020. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and break these rocks. Oh, that was not a lot of treasure. Nope. Get away from me. Also, photosensitivity warning. Come on. There we go. Alright. Yeah, just gonna deal with them all easily. Oh my god. Bomb! Thanks a lot, Bomb. And down here we will find... Uh, bah, bah. I tried. Come on, Bomb. Got him. All right. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Bop. <laughs> no comment. All right. Third time's the charm. Bop, bop, bop. There we go. Hurry up before the ghosts get here. Oh my god, I told you to hurry up. Oh no! <gasps> no! <sighs> That's my treasure and I need it now. So I'm gonna go back and get it. There we go. Also, they haven't given me a reason to show off the fishing rod yet. Hmm. Such a shame. Ah. Wait, I think that's how I want to... Okay. There we go. I still got it. Oh. No, that's not what I thought I had equipped. Sorry for people with photosensitivity issues. And we're off. I remember this. And then, yeah, weigh it down. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, the spot where I can fish. Need to be a little closer to the edge there. I didn't pull up anything? There we go. Oh my god. Wait, don't eat me, knight! The Tropical King commands me to share his bounty with you. All hail the Tropical King, the king of fish and fruit. Long may his stem grow. Ecor of boldness. Become invincible for 10 seconds. Great for those tough spots. Yeah. Actually, I don't recall, recall ever really using those. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. Of course, you realize this means I'm starting back here. This is actually pretty far. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay, uh... Remember that you have other things at your disposal. There we go.
yeah, you can see how it was like an abandoned village. I'm glad I did not land on the spikes. There we go. Oh no, phone ringing. Wait, which way do I want to go first? Oh no, yeah, because I can use that as opposed to the uh, frogs. Cannot see. There we go. Get over there. Drop down here. We are trapped with the frog. Or was he trapped with us? <laughs> oh no! Double trouble. There we go. Get him! Ah! Skull, why must you let me down? Yeah, this also seems like the worst village to try to navigate around. I needed to leave one of them alive. Thankfully, they respawn. Oh, no. Let's see here. And what are you going to be? In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found. Yeah, okay. Phase lock it. Escape from all harm. Briefly. All right. So now we have the empower the the power of invincibility. It's I. Right. I probably won't be using it a lot. I really can't remember what weapon I used the most. It might have been Plague Knights, honestly. Oh no. Phone notification, and I unleashed the spirit. Okay. Nope. Okay. Get it! And... He's done it. <gasps> no! Okay. Music note. Good lord, I need to get back safe and sound, huh? Get it! Okay. Did the, did the spirit despawn on me? I hope so. Booyah. Booyah. Okay. Who wants to go fishing? Not as fulfilling as Animal Crossing's fishing, but I'll take it. Okay, I can't fish right there. Alright. Loudness in the back. I apologize if you can hear it. I genuinely apologize if you can hear that. Okay. We got another giant Skeletor. God dang it. Okay. Booyah. Just going to keep doing this. Got him. Alchemy coin. Sorry, what? What, the phase lock it or... Did I, did I speak without like, understanding what I was saying or did I refer to it or what oh I missed the treasure that's over there I had to bounce on the ghost to get out there oh well that's the relic you got from Plague Knight oh and was that what? all right yeah I genuinely can't remember which one I used the most then oh they are going to respawn oh just okay All right, I need some light here. Thank you. That is a jump. 
an easy one. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Booyah. Oh my god. Yeah. Booyah. Okay. Shit. Yeah, I did. Like, I don't know. I genuinely can't remember which one I used the most then. It might have just been the, um fishing rod then even though like that's mostly there to just like I, I I don't I don't know well I guess I'm not getting that treasure yeah I thought for sure there was like something I used a lot I can't remember I need light. Okay. Yeah, let's get that health. Why not? Let's get the thing that can actually help me out a lot here. Your sprite's not all that different. I don't know, are you standing up straighter or? I don't know. This is no place for the living mortal. You shall be summoned when it is your time. And everyone has a time, as we saw with your beloved shield knight. Lies, I won't believe such talk from phantoms. Your very existence is a vile deception. <laughs> the Enchanter is just full of surprises. He granted me a new life, so that I may take yours. Alright. So your fight is pretty annoying, especially when you do that. There we go. Come on. Okay. Wow. Yeah, miss everything, why don't you? Oh, of course you threw the diagonal on me. Okay. Come on. This is not working out well. Wow. Oh, we got a new lease on life. I would like to see, though. Got her. All right. But yeah, this is a tough boss. Like, that's why I don't think this one should be in the first area. But when you like, get a feel for the attack pattern and you just be patient, it's not that bad. Not to mention, I was spamming the crap out of that um, <laughs> a flame wand. Nope. Get out of my way. I mean treasure, but also I need to save my beloved. Come on, no. Get back. Get back. You don't know me like that. <gasps> no! Got her. Wow, like you're on the phone. Why are you screaming into the receiver? Okay, just uh, go ahead. Just there we go. Grab whatever is in here. Meal ticket. This is the gastronomer. G g gash gastronomer. That's his name. To upgrade your health. Gastronomer. 
gender bit, the story takes on a different meaning. <laughs> You're not wrong. Also, treasure. Alright, we auto-scrolling now. Come on. There we go. I'm greedy, I gotta grab everything. There we go. More bobbles. Do do do. I want what's down here, even though I probably could have swung everything, to be completely honest. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not getting all those that are up there. Heroin saving the prince. It's like Super Princess Peach. Implying Mario is some kind of royalty. Let's visit the Tropel King. Or like the second story of Captain Toad. Forgot about that one. Who has awakened me, mortal? Dost thou need aid? Aid me. Since a tropical chalice, I can fill it with magical ichor. Ichor. Oh, okay. Thank you for. Thank you. Ichor. Choose your ichor wisely. All right. So we got refill all health and magic. Um. Yes. Absorb nearby treasure for sixty seconds. No. This. I'm almost tempted to use up the invincibility one just to make room for this. A new initiate joins us. The ceremony shall commence. Commence to dancing. All that, just for a little icor. Fare thee well, Shovel Knight. Turn if thou hast need of my aid again. A trouble alkalite, alkalite, alkalite. Oh wait, isn't there uh, something that can happen if you fish in here? Oh, no thanks. There we go. What do you think you're doing, mortal? Getting music. And apples. Oh, sh... <laughs> do not sully our waters with the f thy filthy body. Next time I won't be so merciful. Yeah, let's get out of here before I die again. <laughs> not my proudest moment. Okay. Let's get some more money. Waltz of the Troupel King. Upon my first recital, the Troupel King started flapping his fins and said, I'm so happy I could spit. What happened next, I prefer not to talk about it. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime, just ask. Who says they're so happy they could spit? That's unsanitary. Relics, I can increase your maximum magic. Good? Yeah, let's start raising our magic. We're doing decent enough on health. Oh, also, let me go ahead, because I have that meal ticket. Nope. There we go. Yeah, okay. Well, if the water tastes like apple juice. 
I would hope it would, because the alternative would be Trout. And that's not something I want to think of. But just blending together, like, fish and apples in a slurry that you drink? No, thank you. It's not for me. Forest of phasing. Need the phase locket. Yeah. So, um... Let's equip it. Yikes! Spikes! If only I could phase away to safety, I could cross and get so much treasure. <laughs> Joke's on you, kid. Booyah! Alright. <laughs> More treasure from me. <laughs> Ooh. Alrighty then. Um, how does one go about this? Screw so we can just do that. <gasps> no sh Boy, they do not lie when it says that is uh, temporary. So, booyah. Alright. Booyah. So, hey, know what I just learned? Uh, when you're coming up on a pit, you want to jump over it. I know, amazing, right? Not worth it. Okay. Ooh, ready that time. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta do some mid-air phasing. All right. And whatever, we can take a little damage from him. I'm not fussed about it. I am fussed about this. I wonder if there's an achievement for getting through here with that- oh wait, no. I was about to ask if there's like an achievement for getting through here without using the phase locket, but you actually need to use it on the floor spikes, so ignore me. Well, that was easy. So now we've unlocked the Explodatorium. The Iron Whale, Knuckler's Quarry, that, and the Lost City with Mole Knight. Let's go to the Explodatorium and then, yeah, I'll call it a day after this one. I love this place. This is a fun level. Ah, I thought I could do it. I always get hurt on this opening section. And onward we go. So far so good. You know what? I'm not even gonna worry about that mouse. I'm gonna get that treasure though. Got him. Gotta be careful. That's not being careful. It's being anti careful. I resent that. Yeah, that was a demo to show you why you should always be careful when jumping in the Explodatorium. Otherwise, you'll explode, and nobody wants that. Okay, do not directly walk after those exploding rats after you hit them. The more you know. Nothing I could do, dude. There we go.
Okay, I still have the phase locket equipped, but I don't think that flyer is going to come back, so there we go. A little too early there. There we go. For a minute, I thought it wasn't about to give me anything new. Oh no, I actually want to go up here. That was unfortunate. And onward we go. Okay, I'm getting like decimated while trying to navigate. Oh, but I guess it all worked out in the end. Music... Make you lose control. Okay... Wow! Actually got beaten by enemies. Yeah, this is a good song, like... Everything about Plague Knight's stage I really like. Well, hello there, buddy. Wow, you took more hits than I remembered. Thank you. I don't think there's anything else in here. That background, though. Oh, no. And watch out for the spikes. Okay. Not graceful, but at least we're still living. Aha, alternating. That was not good. That was even worse. Be careful. Gotta keep your wits about you, see what's gonna be jumping up. And there we go. It's that simple. You know what? I'm just not even gonna. Oh, wait, no, there's diamonds up there. Wow. Okay, I'm timing this poorly. There we go. Good. Bye. All right, that was not the best way to handle that. Should have left some of them alive to get that those two diamonds up there. Ooh. Okay, be careful. I thought I was dead. <laughs> Wait, duh, I don't have the flame or flare wand equipped. You take two hits with that? That doesn't seem right. I cannot believe I made that first try. There wasn't anything else further along up top, was there? No. Ooh, I remember this mini boss. You are not hard. Never mind. I was not paying attention to my health. Take two. Honestly, I probably should be using the phase locket, but who am I to use common sense? Okay. Ah. 
like in Brio from Crash 1. You're not wrong. Thankfully, it doesn't require a very precise jumping. Only semi-precise jumping. Oh my god. Wait, yeah, you can't hit me from right here. Idiot. How much HP? Thank you. I was about to say. And now we have fire that doesn't care about if you've stepped on it or not. It'll just show up. Because that's what it does. Fire don't care. Fire don't give a frick. I need to go back and replay Crash 1 one day. On the, um, Insane Trilogy, not not the original Crash 1. That, that, that game is best left in the past. It did not age well at all. Like, I don't know, it's one of those, like, this game did not age well and later versions of it were better but I still find some weird enjoyment out of it that I may play it again one day. But emphasis on May. Wow. Slippery shoes. But yeah, I won't call it, like, an outright bad game. It just had, like, a really bad save system. Like, exceptionally bad. Especially for that time. Like, which, which one do I think was worse? Rayman 1 or Crash 1 in terms of saving? Because both were pretty bad. Oh my god. Oh, wait. <sighs> why, why put myself through this? I'm not getting that treasure, though. Alright. Apple. Looks like the apple didn't fall too far from me. That that was why why would I say that? Am I proud of myself? No. No, not really. We got a slime knight. Oh no. In the not as successful sequel. To Shovel Knight. Thought I had the Flame Wand equipped. You- Oh yeah, you can cycle through them with L and R. <laughs> Cannot believe how much of the basic controls I've forgotten. Get it! Oh, okay, fine. I didn't want that anyway. Just keep running and you'll be fine. Except when you have a jerk right here who's just busy throwing potions at you. Like he's one of the helpers from Crash 1 in the lab. Wait, am I at the end already? I feel like I've missed a secret area. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Oh, no. Oh, so am I thinking of... Uh... Plague Knight's story when you can get into Plague Knight's room, then? Uh, he, leave me alone. Show yourself, Plague Knight. Your trickery will not stop me. Trickery? He, the fruits of my research are no mere trick. Hmm. Yeah, 
okay, okay, it's, it's an alright sprite. Boom, hee 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 hee. Now let's have a lesson, shall we? I promise, it will be enlightening. I am not at full health. I forgot to check the walls for wall meat. That is, in fact, on me. Come on. Okay, this is going about as well as you would expect. Hey, I wasn't even at full health and I got you down to almost half. Yeah, only Plague Knight can visit the room. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, see, all I had to do was just do that. And I probably would have been fine for this fight. No, I wouldn't have. Well, it is weird that you're wearing a hat over your hood. It is a hat, right? Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I was just racking the hits on you, and... Yeah, there wasn't much I could have done in that situation, but one more hit, and... Please, thank you. Oh, it was... okay. It was blending in pretty well with the background, I couldn't really make it out. Alright, that was a nice little start. You know, three nights down. Um, but yeah, I am going to go ahead and call it a day. Um, yeah, I don't know if there will be a Megavania stream. Oh, there was only one musical note there? Really? No, there's two. I missed one. Oh well, I can always go back, uh, but yeah, probably won't be a Megavania stream next week because, oh, Rise, um, alright, well, let's fight Rise first. Uh, north from Primor, west at the Fork, oh, bother, I must have passed it already. Well met, Traveler. Ooh, maybe you can help me, I think I got lost, I was trying to... Wait a second, you're the knight with a shovel. Indeed, I am the... The knight with the shovel who has been menacing the village. I I assure you, I have done no such. You gonna use that shovel to bury innocent people? Your reign of terror ends here. All right, so now it's time to fight Boomerang Boy. Ah, oh, crap. A strategy. It didn't work. Okay. Um, but yeah, there probably won't be a Megavania stream next week because I'm going to be doing like a little stream marathon thing all throughout the month of May. And I kind of already have a docket prepared. Maybe if I'm feeling especially up to it, I might like double stream on Mondays to, um, ah, oh crap, possibly make it happen. Like, to make the Megavania streams happen. Okay, um, I hate that I have to do this. Especially since you're not even that hard of a fight, but a hey, desperate times. But yeah, next Monday, um, I have the schedule up. Yeah, um,. Yeah, next Monday is the 4th, and for that day, I'll be streaming over on Twitch because the music is going to make it a nightmare on YouTube. Tony Hawk's Underground. Been forever since I last played that. I'm excited to get back to a good Tony Hawk game. Do your worst, villain. Strike me down. I'm no villain. We're fighting a common enemy. We, we are? Well, why didn't you say so? Now I feel like a fool now. Or wow, I feel like a fool now. Think nothing of it, friend. Knights are strongest when they work together. Yeah, Knight's Code. First vow, always help a person in need. Knock him down, Shovel Knight. Ooh, yes, please. 
Yeah. So yeah, um, starting May 1st, I'll be trying to go a full month, give or take some days, like I will be taking rest days, to uh, stream. So this Friday, May 1st, it's going to be Jackbox Night. And then, does this autosave or like, fuck, well, I'm, I'm a little worried now. Um, Does it auto save? Cause I, I've not seen anything. Okay, let me just make sure. I haven't been seeing much. Cause I know you can manual save on the other one, right? Could you? I I, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Um, this Friday, May first, Jackbox. May 2nd, Wario Land 4, hard or super hard, depending on how I'm feeling. May 3rd, Pikmin 1, May 4th, Tony Hawk's Underground, and May 5, Pokemon the Trading Card Game. So yeah, uh, it's going to be a week of uh, just games from my childhood. Except Jackbox, that was not around back then. You don't know Jack was, but not the Jackbox party packs but um so yeah uh look forward to those streams starting up on Friday thanks for attending this stream managed to beat Castlevania 2 so that's a game off the checklist hopefully Castlevania 3 will actually be good when we get to it and um yeah just thanks again for tuning in I'll see you next time goodbye